This video is about setting up drawing limits on your file. If you've just finished watching the previous video on setting up a drawing template, you can just stay where you are. If you've already created a template and you've left the program and you need to open it, you can see in recent documents you have the drafting template or whatever name you saved it as. So if you need to reopen your template, you can go under Get Started here to Templates, and you have a drop-down menu, and I'm going to choose Drafting Template. That's what I chose as the name of my drafting template. You could have named it whatever you wanted, so I'll open that. Now, you see all the squares here. AutoCAD has an infinite drawing space but that can be troublesome when you're working in a theater which does not need an infinite drawing space so you can limit your drawing space which also helps limit your zoom so that you won't zoom out into the galaxy and not be able to find your drawings now with autocad you can type to enter your commands and you don't have to click anywhere to type you can just start typing so to set limits i'm going to type L, I, M, and you see how it auto-completed limits? You don't have to finish the whole word. It'll uh, guess, predictive, predict what you want to do. So I'm going to hit enter for limits. And you're going to reset the model space limits and setting the lower left-hand corner. Now the lower left-hand corner is what do you want down here? And you see down in the corner the Y and the X axis. I want the lower limit of my drawing to be at the, big, the zero, zero point, the Y and the X axis. So I'm going to have zero, comma, zero. And that sets it at the origin point. Now it wants to know the upper right hand corner of my drawing limits. Now if I was doing if, you know, a park, maybe it's 300 feet by 300 feet, but we're doing a theater, so I'm going to make it something much smaller. I'm going to make it 100 feet by 100 feet. So AutoCAD defaults to inches, so you have to tell it you want feet, so 100 and then I'm going to use the apostrophe for feet, comma, 100 apostrophe for feet. Oh no, I've typed 1,000. That's okay. I can just backspace to go back to 100 and then apostrophe. Now I can click enter. So your screen doesn't change. But if you want to zoom, you can type Z, enter. And you can tell it down at the bottom, you'll see the different options for zoom. All, center, dynamic, extends, window, object. And do you notice how the first letter of each word is in blue? You can just type that letter and hit enter to choose it. So I'm going to choose E for extents and hit enter. And it zoomed much bigger. Now say... I am going to draft something really small, maybe a dresser. I might set my limits a lot smaller, so I can retype limits, or I can use my right mouse click to re-enter the previous command. So right mouse click has set limits again. Oh, it's zoom. Silly me, we were already on Zoom. So to get out of that, I just hit Escape. So I'll retype Limits, hit Enter, and then specify the lower left-hand corner. I want that to be 0, 0. And then for my upper corner, let's do something smaller because we're going to do something the size of a dresser. So maybe it's a small dresser, five feet, comma, by five feet, enter. 
And now let's do zoom again. Z, enter, and do E for extents. And now your drawing has zoomed in at an appropriate scale. And we can draw a rectangle and just click anywhere and move it out. And you see how your numbers are changing? Blue number. So now we're at an appropriate zoom for what we want to draw. And that's how you set the limits at your drawing. You just type LI, enter, and you've got limits. And then you set the bottom right hand corner and the upper left hand corner. And you can reset that as many times as you need in your process of drawing. And then you can type Z, enter for zoom and E, enter for extents. That'll zoom out or zoom in to the extents of your drawing. And that is setting limits.